Arimathea was a, a tin trader and a trader of many things. And um, he was friends with King Aravagas, who was the Druid king of this area. And um, King Aravagas said, you know, you know, come, you can take 12 hides of my land, any, any part of my land. And uh, Joseph said, all right, I'll have the Isle of Avalon. And King Aravagas said, what do you want the Isle of Avalon for? It's, you can't grow anything there, you know, the, the weather is terrible, you know, it's surrounded by water, you can have anything, anywhere you want. And he said, no, I want that, because he knew the special importance of this place. He knew that it was a Druid initiation site for many, many years, and before that people believed that it was um, a site uh, of worshipping the goddess. And um, he wanted to to initiate a new faith on on the earth, basically, brought to him by his um, his uh, nephew Jesus, and uh, also Mary Magdalene wanted to 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 work with that new teachings, the teachings of love. That's pretty much how I see it. And um, they came here to to build the uh, the Wattle Church, and uh, the first Wattle Church apparently was the other side of the Tor where the, the back entrance uh, um, was now. It, uh, that's where the first Wattle Church and settlement was created. But then, it, then they moved it down to where the Lady Chapel is on, in, the, in the Abbey, in the Abbey grounds. Um, so, they came here in their boat 2,000 years ago after the crucifixion of Christ to, uh, because they knew that they were next to be crucified, pretty much. So they had to make a run for it so if they wanted to keep the teachings alive. And um, when they came into this bay here, there was a, a massive storm and they nearly all died. But um, Joseph was given a staff by uh, Jesus. And uh, Jesus said, any time of need, just raise your staff to the heavens, call my name and I will come and assist you. So that's what he did. And he raised it to the heaven and said, Yeshua, please come to our salvation now. And then that moment, the storm settled and they could make a safe harbor here at the, on the banks of the Wirial Hill. And they staggered up here, totally shaken and uh, very, uh, very <laughs> happy to still be alive. And um, when it came to this point here, actually where the stone is, because this is a, an older tree, this is um, a newer tree, sorry. He planted his staff in the ground and it took root and started to grow. And that was the story, the, uh, the myth of uh, the holy thorn tree here on Weary All Hill. And Weary All, they were all weary when they staggered up here and that's why it's called Weary All Hill. And it doesn't look much now because uh, last winter solstice someone decided to um, rip it down but um, they didn't entirely succeed uh, and it's taking, you know, it's taking again now and uh, regenerating and it's quite nice because we're moving into the Aquarian age from the 2000 years ago where, where the first holy thorn was planted and uh, took root but now it's it's a new a new era a new 2000 year era and it's growing again from uh, from near death to to rebirth so it's uh, very beautiful